Take a look at your ears. Aren't they amazing? An average human ear hears frequencies from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. But each person is unique when it comes to the functioning of our sense organs. Some of us struggle to hear neighbors whispering just behind the door. Meanwhile, rare lucky persons have a natural absolute pitch. They can recognize any note in any octave. We suggest you take these cool hearing tests that will help reveal your hidden hearing superpowers. Yes. First of all, let's check where you're currently standing in the frequency spectrum. Put on your headphones and make sure you're in a quiet place with no background noises. If you're surrounded by people, ask them to stay quiet for the next minute. We'll travel across and beyond the human audio spectrum and play some sound frequencies a human ear usually can't perceive. As soon as you notice that your ears begin to hear the sound, stop the video. The number you'll see on the screen is your current result. Ready? Let's go! Great job! Well, are you surprised by the result? If it's higher than average, congratulations! But if not, don't worry. The older people get, the harder it becomes for them to hear high-frequency sounds. This may reduce the ability to hear bird songs and even some consonants like S, H, or F. If the result is very bad, try this test again. What? Chances are that your headphones can't play the invisible frequencies properly or maybe the sound was off at your computer. But if you're perfectly sure that your gadgets are fine, perhaps it would be wise to see a doctor and check your hearing. Now you know your hearing's range, but guess who can hear beyond these limits? Bats, pigeons, elephants, dogs, dolphins, and some other animals. But who do you think is the best listener in the world? Please welcome our champion, a moth. Researchers claim that moths can hear better than anyone else in the world. One study showed that the greater wax moth, also known as Galleria melanella, is capable of hearing frequencies up to 300 kilohertz. It means that their hearing is 15 times better than humans. And now, let's go ahead and check your potential to develop an absolute musical pitch. This rare superpower is basically the ability of a person to identify or recreate a given musical note without the use of a reference tone. Some of the greatest classical composers, including Beethoven, Chopin, and Mozart, used to have this ability. And it's not so rare in the modern music industry. Oh yeah. Studies based on a survey of more than 600 musicians showed that the older people were when they started training, the less likely they were to gain perfect pitch. Meanwhile, the majority of polled musicians who began training by the age of six used to have it. And among those who started music classes before the age of four, some 40% had perfect pitch. Also, you're more likely to develop this ability if at least one of your relatives has it. So, are you ready to challenge your ears? You're going to need to put on your earphones once again. Take a deep breath and don't forget to count the right answers. Here's a small version of a classic piano keyboard. Let's go ahead and refresh your memory. This is what the 12 notes sound like. We'll use this random music to confuse your perception just a little bit. And let's begin the quiz. Try to guess this note. Well, any ideas? It was G. What about this note? C. Focus your ears and let's listen to the next one. Well, it was A. What about this sound? 
Can you guess it? F. Let's go ahead and recognize this note. A once again. And what can you say about this one? That was F sharp. Here's the next sound. Can you guess the note? B. Any idea what it might be? A sharp, also known as B flat. Next sound. Can you spot the note? C flat. Can you identify this one? G again. Well done. If you've guessed more than seven notes correctly, maybe it's time for you to run to the nearest musical school and become a famous musician before it's too late. Meanwhile, if your result is between three and six notes, your musical ear is still quite good. And if you didn't guess a single note, don't be upset. Regular training gets water from a flint. Our next test will reveal both your hearing skills and your knowledge of musical instruments. This game is very easy. Listen to the audio carefully and try to guess the instrument. Don't forget to calculate all the correct answers. Here's the first sound playing. Does it seem familiar? What do you say? It's a French horn playing. What about this melody? Sitar. Next audio. Any ideas? Steel pan. What about this one? Acoustic guitar. Great job. Let's go ahead and spot this instrument. It's a flute. Next audio. Does it sound familiar? Ukulele. Let's explore this mysterious sound. It's called the rain stick. Next instrument. Any ideas? Marimba. Here's the next melody. Does it seem familiar? Organ. Next instrument. Does it sound familiar? Symbol. What about this one? What do you say? Acoustic guitar? Nope, banjo. You should recognize this one right away. Any ideas? Violin. What about this instrument? What do you say? Just kidding, it's the sound of a purring cat. Let's go ahead and investigate this audio. Harmonica. Any idea what this might be? Kazoo. It looks like a funny little whistle. Next instrument.
Have you guessed? It's a loot. What about this one? Maybe electric piano? Nope, it's a harp. Next instrument. Any ideas? This beautiful thing is called kabasa. Next audio. Does it sound familiar? It's a clarinet. You're doing great. We're almost at the finish line, so stay focused. And let's listen to the next one. It's a bass guitar. Next audio. Does it sound familiar? Piano. What about this instrument? This sound is called throat singing, and it's made by a singer, not by a musical instrument. Next audio. Have you guessed? Castanets. Any idea what this might be? This is the sound of water glasses. And finally, can you spot this instrument? Does it seem familiar? It's an accordion. And now, let's calculate your score. If you've answered all 25 questions correctly, congratulations, you're a genius. If your score is between 17 and 24, well done. Your ears and knowledge are brilliant. You're either involved in the music industry or you should think about doing so. If you gave from 9 to 16 correct answers, you're doing well. While listening to music, you're probably good at distinguishing the sounds of different instruments. And if you gave less than 9 answers, perhaps it's time to expand your knowledge in this field. You'll be surprised by the variety of musical instruments. In fact, nobody knows for sure the exact number of musical instrument types all over the planet. You can find more than 500 titles in various encyclopedias, but it's far from the actual number. After all, any musical instrument has dozens of different modifications and hundreds of manufacturing variations. To make the process easier, the instruments traditionally fall into one of six major categories, depending on the sound source. Woodwind, bowed strings, brass, percussion, keyboard, and the guitar family. We're aware that musical instruments have been entertaining people for ages. But what is the oldest musical instrument in the world? So far, this honorary title belongs to the Neanderthal flute. It was made around 60,000 years ago. Contemporary musicians have reconstructed this instrument, and its sound reminds of the modern bamboo flute. But music is not only an entertaining tool, it's also very helpful when you want to relax or focus on your work or studies. The 432 Hz frequency is considered ideal because it resonates with the Schumann resonance of 8 Hz, and it's known for its deeply calming and comforting effects. One study from Italy showed that music tuned to 432 Hz slows down the heart rate when compared to 440 Hz. So be careful with what goes into your ears. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.